I praise and thank God for this beautiful opportunity that God has given us to come in his presence before his precious word. For this morning's meditation let's turn to Proverbs chapter 30 verse 21 to 23. For three things the earth is disquieted and for four which it cannot bear. For a servant when he reigneth and a fool when he is filled with meat. For an odious woman when she is married and an handmaid that is heir to her mistress. In this scripture the spirit of the Lord is reminding us about three things that the earth is disquieted and four things which it cannot bear. We need to remember that this earth was created with such splendor and beauty that we read in the book of Job that the angels shouted for joy when God created with such perfection. But when the anointed cherub Lucifer sinned God cursed this earth and it became void and without form. Then again before man was created and was given the authority over the creatures of this earth God reformed this earth replenished it and the scripture says it was good in the eyes of the Lord. The earth might have been happy when before the fall the garden of eden reflected the atmosphere of heaven where the peace of God ruled in that sinless place. but again sin overpowered man and as pride crept into his heart he decided to do his own will so that he can be the lord of his own life and the lord cursed the land because of man's sin and once again the deeds of sin spread across the land now as a part of god's curse thistles and thorns grow on the face of the earth and we read in the holy scriptures for the earnest expectation of this creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of god for the creature was made subject to vanity not willingly but by reason of him who had who had subjected the same in hope because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of god for we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now romans chapter 8 verses 19 to 22 The earth that honors God its creator and obeys his words trembleth as it cannot bear the sin of pride again. The earth is aware of the severe punishment of God upon sin as it has borne it again and again. And so here the scripture says the earth trembles and it cannot bear these things. That when a slave becomes a king and when a godless fool is filled with meat and when an unloved woman gets married and when a maid replaces her mistress in all these instances it's very easy for the immature person to act and do things that will reflect their sinful nature a servant who has always done things that his master asked him to do and has never done anything on his own with responsibility cannot rule a nation understanding the needs of the situation We all know how God trained Joseph before he was given authority over the nation of Egypt. A normal boy who was the beloved of his father and never did labor like his brothers but had a sincere and loving heart was trained by the Lord first as a mere slave. Then he was given responsibility to look after the house of Potiphar who was the officer of Egypt. And then a higher promotion to look after the prison and then he learned about the atmosphere of the palace through the two prisoners yes the lord taught him all the things that he needed to do things maturely so that he can do his responsibility faithfully if not a servant who has just experienced abuse in his entire life when he begins to reign he will take that opportunity to take revenge of the grief that he has suffered and that will be a burden upon the people upon whom he reigns can you see the heart of the lord behind the reason why he allows sufferings in our life so that we may become mature to reign with christ in eternity if not our immature nature will spoil the peace of the new earth and new heaven let us thank the lord for his patience with which he is working in our lives and then comes a fool when he is filled with meat He will have his heart filled with pride looking at the poor ones with disgusting eyes thinking they suffer because they are not worthy for it and he places himself higher than all of them thinking that he is the only favorable one in the eyes of the lord 
even the earth hates such prideful attitude and seeks those who have a humble and contrite spirit and then comes an odious woman when she is married the mature wife who expects and demands all the better things of this world will make the life of her husband demanding more than fulfilling her responsibility she will be more engaged in the things that gives her happiness and fulfills her desires is that the same with us are we taking the name of the lord to get a better life in this world or are we bound by the love of god and are glad to do his blessed will before we leave this world are we a living witness of his love for which we have been called and blessed with all the spiritual blessings of heaven let us analyze our lives in the light of the word of god and then comes a handmaid that is a heir to her mistress we all know about hagar when she saw that she had conceived her mistress was despised in her eyes instead of being thankful to the mistress for counting her worthy to be the member of the family her irresponsible deed created an unpeaceful atmosphere in the house of abraham i think that is why when eliezer was looking for a bride for isaac he was looking for a mature person who will realize the need of the camel without anyone reminding her so that she can replace sara and be a blessing for the household if the earth cannot suffer prideful attitude of the above persons mentioned in the scripture then how can holy god who is righteous and just suffer our immature nature we have been called to be with him in eternity let us always remember the rock from which we were hewn and abide in the lord with a humble heart as the coming of the lord is very near let us be very careful about our life as we need to be victorious over all the sinful things that is in us so that as we abide in the lord let the beauty of christ be revealed through us and may the lord help each one of us for that let us pray father we praise you and thank you for this beautiful morning and the beautiful scripture thank you lord for all the pains for all the tempests all the trials lord you are preparing us for eternity thank you for the high calling Lord help us to love you and help us to trust you and Lord help us to walk the way that you are showing before us no matter what happens in our life Lord you are faithful it is for your glory and it is because you love us help us Lord to come closer to you we give you all glory and honor thank you for hearing our prayers in Jesus most holy name we pray amen May God bless each one of us our Lord is coming very soon Maranatha